super excited pulling in the first deal with thousand trails and yeah. i guess this maybe we didn't read fine print or i was so frustrated guys like i just want to break down and cry we've had We are hitched up and ready to head out. We had a nice evening staying here at Soldier Creek Winery. It's early morning. There's the sun. It's before seven. This is not Stevens time, but we're hitting the road because we got a long travel day. So let's get to it. excited pulling in the first deal with thousand trails and yeah. I guess this maybe we didn't read fine print or something but. so this is an encore park and encore parks partner with thousand trails um, we chose this one because it had good internet signal and that's what I need for work and they must have got a, a ton of rain because um, everything is very soggy um, but it was frustrating first coming in because their map was difficult to read and they didn't give us really great directions. So we went down the wrong way on a one way. Luckily there was a turnout. So I was able to turn around and get back to where I needed to go. So I was already frustrated, like not being able to figure out where I was going. Then we pull in, everything's tight. Everything's so tight. So Crazy. tight, you guys. I seriously thought, because I was driving today, I really thought I was going to take out the back end of the RV. Like, every time I had to turn, it was terrifying. But we did it. Yeah. We made it. Finally make it to the side. Mm -hmm. And everything's good. Grass, so overgrown. Well, there's gravel, but it's grassy gravel. And yeah. it, it's we pull in. And we're like, okay, well, here's our power. Our water's on the opposite side of our water bay, like 50 feet away. Yeah. So hopefully our hose reaches. Yeah. And just looking around, this is like the most unlevel, weird, jacked up spot. Like you look down the road and the rest of them look at least like they're level. And have gravel all the way through. And they just look, they look better. We, we just got a really crummy sight. And then to kick it off, like the straw that broke the camel's back, I can't find a sewer connection anywhere, neither the left side nor the right side of our site. We've spent the last four weeks without sewer. So we've used a bathhouse. I know it is, these are probably sound like we're whining, but you get, <laughs> You know, I want to use my own bathroom. Yes. I want to use my own shower. I'm tired of going other places. And yes, they said can pump you out for 20 bucks a pop. That's expensive. We only paid $10 in Connecticut. And Connecticut is a lot pricier than the Midwest. I'll tell you that. So they gave us options. They said come back, speak to a manager in the morning. But it's kind of like, yeah, that's what you get. Well, and that's the crappy part. So first we knock, we go up to the, the office. We just checked in. The office is locked. They weren't answering their phones. I'm like, WTF, we were just here. So I knocked on the door because it was 304. Knocked on the door. Blessedly, a nice lady opened the door and was talking to me. I guess they closed the office at three. Okay, but because they are an Encore Park and we are Thousand Trails members, if there is a problem with your site, like if it's the wrong site 
or if it doesn't have the amenities you asked for or whatever, you have to resolve that through Thousand Trails, which is all well and good, but it's not gonna get resolved today because their office is closed. I was so frustrated, guys. Like, I just want to break down and cry. We've had a long day. I got up at like six in the morning after sleeping in a crooked, wonky RV last night. I got crap sleep. I've been sitting on my butt for seven and a half hours traveling, and I just wanted to get home and get set up and just chill before the work week starts again. And it just sucks. It sucks not having your expectations be met. But it's not the end of the world, so I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna pull up my panties and get over it. See if we can somehow level in the spot. And then I guess maybe this will turn into a uh, RV park tour. So we'll see how it all pans out. In the meantime, Let's we're gonna get up. set up. Mm-hmm. Again, just to show how unlevel this site is, it's never this high. No. I'd be, I'd feel safe walking underneath this now. Normally, I'm gotta crawl under. She could almost stand up underneath. It. Yeah, look, Bella and I can totally stand up. <laughs> we can walk underneath the RV. This has never happened before. But, but it's the best ever. And. We're level. The lighting's not great, but we're gonna go for it. It's been a long day. Long day. Mm -hmm. And as you can see by the sun behind us, it's setting. It has come to a close, blessedly. Uh, we're tired. <laughs> yeah, we're coming at you from the private boat dock. Not even sure we're supposed to be on it. Ooh, ripples. We're not harming anything, but yeah, it's a beautiful. Once again, she's got to hold the camera down, but if she could hold it up, you'd see it. And you can't see my beautiful face. I and know. The scenery. We must get to both beauties in. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> don't, don't rock the dock, dude. Rock the boat. No, don't do that. We got the RV level. We got everything set up. Uh, we had to run to the grocery store, pick up a few things, had some dinner. There's an Aldi close by. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, and we found a place where we might get some cheese curds, not too far away. But uh, apparently Wisconsin has mosquitoes. Yeah. Ow. This is good. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so on that note, guys, cheers. Have a great night. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>